Good morning, Tilly. Did you sleep well? I'll tell you what, she probably slept better than we did. <laughs> Hi, yes, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog here on Coaster Crazy YouTube channel. Yeah, we're starting off at the Moxie Bristol uh, this morning where we, if you saw the last vlog, we went to Weymouth, which is stunning, absolutely stunning. I'd like to go over there more um, throughout the, the year and upcoming years, especially because we got her. She loved the beach. And uh, yeah, so we did Great Yarmouth and then we drove straight to Bristol and checked into the Moxie Bristol. Now we have actually stayed at a few Moxie Bristols, well Moxie hotels before, sorry. And they're really nice, like I like modern stuff and stuff that's quite quirky. So this room's really nice and they all have a theme. This theme's actually themed around Banksy or graffiti, that sort of stuff, graffiti artist stuff. You've been to Bristol, there's graffiti everywhere. It's not. I'm, I, when it's done right, I like graffiti, but when it's just all over the place, not so much. I, I like, like I said, I like clean, modern stuff that's, you know, that's nice looking. So anyway, you've got the big telly here. Uh, the view, if you can see, is not great. Seriously, this is probably one of the worst location hotels we've stayed at. We're right next to this main road, we're on the second floor. And it was quite stuffy in the room last night. There is air conditioning, but I don't think it worked. So we had to have the window open and you can hear the cars. And there was a nightclub up the road. And then there's dodgy people trying to sell you robbed stuff downstairs. And uh, I'm, just, I'm not keen on Bristol. But anyway, the, <laughs> the car parks across the road. We get that validated. The room was like 92 pound for the night. Doesn't include breakfast, but was it 95? Yeah, 95 when we got here. Um, yeah, I think Tilly slept all right. We didn't. I did ask for extra pillows um, and when I went back down an hour later after we'd actually come back to the room and fell asleep, um, he said, we haven't got any. I said, well, you could have told us that two hours ago because we'd just been up the room and fell asleep. So I had to come downstairs and anyway. Um, yeah, like I said, dog friendly. Um, oh yeah, there's a, there's a light. If you've ever stayed at a Moxie before, they have um, a light, and you can just see it here. So it's an automatic light for like night, yeah, the sensitive. So if your duvet is hanging off, or your foot hangs off, it comes on so that it wakes you up. So, I mean, I, yeah, I do like that, but mm, it's not great if it's on a sensor, but it does turn off after a while. But yeah, like they're saying about the clean, modern look about it. Got me a generic wake up juice already. I got that last night. But yeah, all this, like the leather pouches for. Um, well, newspapers, isn't it? Newspapers, all the straps holding it up, kettle. It's not much facilities, really. It's quite basic. I know uh, what with me, Tim does a an open the kettle thing, but I think it's quite. I think it's a sealed one, so I won't be doing that one. Full length mirror. Yeah, I just like all this um, steel. This looks like the stuff we use at a building site. <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically it and a standard bathroom decent shower yeah there's like writing all over the mirrors and stuff like that and i'll show you outside but yeah that's it that's our room moxie in bristol right we've got to grab our stuff we're going to harvesters now to get some breakfast and then we're off to thunderworld fun park or theme park as it's dubbed Let's go. Yeah, there's two lifts in here. So yeah, I was saying about the Banksy stuff as well. It's going up. That's quite a famous uh, picture by Banksy. The little, it's a rat, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, it's going to yeah. open. Oh, it's it? going to be people. Oh. So, turn yeah, turn it on. Yeah, it's so urban and straight in here. I love it. It's great. <laughs> I think most places I'll be going to, I'll be uh, checking into a Moxie hotel. So they do breakfast in here, but we didn't pay extra for breakfast. So I've just got to check out, give a little moan about the room and this, you know, not having the pillows, but it's not that fault, is it, at the end of the day? You know, you get what you pay for. 
Oh, so I have checked out. I'll be very, very quick because we're ready to go. But yeah, there's a pill table in here, like the, the long tables for the breakfasts and the meals and stuff. It's really nice in here. We got like complimentary drinks last night. But yeah, I was saying about dog friendly. There you go, don't get that at Travel Lodge, dear. Or even, well, you do actually. Travel Lodge, dogs are allowed at Travel Lodge now, but Premier Inn. We're waiting for Premier Inn to start allowing dogs, and we'll start going there. Come on then. Because she's quite clean and tidy anyway, and I know I've had comments before off vocal saying, oh, you shouldn't let your dogs go on the bed. Well, there's nothing wrong with that dog. She's really clean, and if she is dirty, we'll clean her. The, the, the bag that Lisa's got on her back there, it's got like all the treats in it and food and water, water bowl, toys, uh, wipes, uh, the, the the, she's got her own towel, so yeah, don't be, uh, don't be commenting, complaining about dogs in hotels because we're not leaving her at home, but there's a hotel anyway. Yeah, dogs are everywhere, there's another one down here, there's another one just got in the hotel now. Awesome. <laughs> right, let's go and explore Bristol. Or, or, or maybe not. Right, that's what I was saying earlier about the graffiti and stuff. If it's done right, it looks brilliant. There's a mural there with the bees. Yeah, yeah mural. Mural. <laughs> There's one there with Gandhi on it. Oh, is it Gandhi? I don't know. <laughs> it looks good though. Right, so we have been to a harvester before with Tilly and sat in the bar area. They normally do allow dogs. We just walked in there straight away, looked down, no dogs allowed. Can't sit in the bar area and we can't sit outside either because there isn't enough staff to cook a breakfast. So we're going somewhere else. Oh well. Right, round two. We're now at the Toby Carvery. The Orchard. Right, I'll go <laughs> see how this goes. I'll have to go in and ask i suppose do they allow dogs if not we're um outside. <laughs> sitting outside right so we actually had a breakfast um time is currently 25 past 11 <laughs> so we've been up a few hours already <laughs> Uh, yeah, they did allow dogs in there. We did have to sit in the bar area, which is not a problem. She didn't really eat much, if I'm honest. I think she had a couple of tiny little bits of toast. She, she likes toast with a little bit of butter on uh, and like a couple of bits of uh, bacon. That's all she's had. She's very fussy in the morning. So uh, yeah, right, there we go. Off to uh, Thunderworld theme park now. Uh, just jump in the car and uh, I'll see you when we get there. But yeah, Toby was all right. It's, it's not bad, it's not bad. I do like a good roast though. Right, so we've made it to Thunderworld at Theme Park. Uh, it's Bristol, Durham, down. So I don't think I've actually been to this ground before. It's a new ground for me. Uh, it doesn't open for another 15 minutes, but um, I think we can get in a bit earlier. I uh, just want to say a big thank you to Michelle Matthews for inviting us down today. Uh, she did want us to come last year, but we didn't make it this last year but we went to the one that was in Norfolk um, for Christmas so we did we did that one you've got Darren Matthews wild mouse crazy mouse here one of the best in the UK it looks amazing with the new paint job on it that they did last year but yeah it's a massive queue of people here already it looks like they've got a brand new sign for it as well like a proper entrance sign which looks great yeah see the caterpillar there they have a little Go Gator here as well. Atmospheres here, I think, and a few of the rides. We'll be here long, a couple hours, and then we'll just drive home, spend the day at home, and then we're off to Great Yarmouth tomorrow. But yeah, there's a massive queue of people here already. <laughs> already. Uh, as you can see, it's busy already. We've got this awesome brand new Thunderwheel theme park sign just there behind me as well. Yeah, busy. So I think the times are one till nine, but then they do like four hour time slots on your uh, wristbands. I think I need to go and <laughs> go and find someone. <laughs> I'm not waiting in this queue line. Rammed. Right, so we're in, yes. Um, 
like I said, we've um, sort of been invited to come down by Michelle Matthews. Uh, Darren's around somewhere. Air Max is over there. T I'm never going on Air Max ever again. <laughs> Not after last time, anyway. I nearly passed out on the thing. So yeah, um, I think they're just about to let people in now anyway. But it's not bad actually, they've got a, a walkway to walk on. Uh, I think I should still should have put my boots on though. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, apparently dogs are not allowed in here according to security, but we have had permission to come in with Tilly. Yeah, it's a diff completely different ground, she's barking at the octopus. <laughs> um, they're quite cute those actually. Right. Do you want an octopus Tilly? We'll get her an octopus. So yeah, they've got the major rides here, there's loads of game stalls. It's like, it is dubbed as the UK's biggest travelling theme park, but we know it's not a theme park. But it sort of is though really, it's, you know, it's an amusement park. I think the rides are ready to go. Got the crazy mouse here, it's one of, oh yeah? You're joking, has it just started raining? Oh no, I have to go back to the car for the third time. Go away! <laughs> we don't want it. Right, yeah, I think the rides are ready to go. Oh, I said you got the uh, Crazy Mouse here. It's one of the best in the UK. This one normally goes to Hall Fair as well. It's the one that had the, uh, the, like, the yellow or the pink track on the other side for ages. Spins really well. Anyone that ever did the uh, Fun Fair at Stoke and Trent, the Winter Wonderland, it's the same rides here that go to there. Although that's been cancelled a few times, yeah, I think we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's a wristband or anything. Obviously, they, they didn't give me one. I'll get on here before everyone else does. This normally gets a massive queue. There's a huge people running this way. So you better send it quick, mate. Don't worry. You don't want to share with anyone. You're all right, right, mate. I'm on the channel. All right. Get it sent quick. Can you put it on free spin? Of course I can. Huh? Of course I can. Yeah! Free spin as well, here we go. I don't know if you put it on free spin then. But yeah, this one's really good at free spinning. Is it on free spin? No, I don't think it is. There's normally a pedal just down to the side and you can press it. And then you go up the lift hill like that. Look at the colour of it though. get a good view of the fair from up here. I can't see the gold gate, but they've got the caterpillar down there. That was that was new a few years ago. Look at the crowd of people coming in. Massive ground. Yeah, it's not in free spin. I'll have to go around again. <laughs> Pretty sure Bristol Zoo's round here as well. I've never been to Bristol Zoo, but I've heard it's one of the best in the UK. Here we go. Woo! Here we go. Woo! Spin time. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, it's the biggest ride here. So this normally gets the biggest queues. So get on this quick. I don't think they've gotten on many of the other thrill rides, unfortunately. They're just a bit, a bit too extreme for me. Oh, that time. Oh, hey. oh, awesome. Yeah, like I said, one of the best spinning wild mouses in the UK, this. Brilliant. Oh! <laughs> Awesome. Right, there you go, Darren Matthews, amazing. I keep looking at the name. Crazy Mouse. Yeah, one of the best in the UK. I did ask the operator if he could put it on free spin, but apparently once they put it in free spin, it's got a system on it where it locks it back into position. So, yeah, no more free spinning, unfortunately. I think it goes straight from ride to ride here. 
We've got the sky swing here, which is massive. Did this one at Stoke uh, Winter Wonderland a few years ago. Well, it's a massive ground here, really, really big. Look at the queue for the coaster already. Ah, oh, temporarily closed due to high wind speed. Must be an old sign. There's no one in there. We'll have a bit of a walk around as anyway. But yeah, great start to the day. Like I said, we won't be going on a massive amount of rides. <laughs> It's just to show you what's here if you want to come down and check it out. Because it's on till the 1st of May. Bank, well, ends on the 1st of May bank holiday anyway. That's its last day here. And then it goes back over to Norwich as well. And then I'm pretty sure they've got something lined up for Christmas again this year. There's, there's no one manning some of these rides here though. You've got the uh, meteorite. Pretty sure I've been on this one as well. There's no one in there. You've got a simulator here. <laughs> now showing three rides in one corkscrew runaway mine train and the beast ah oh, shame that hasn't got thunder looper on there isn't it no we did thunder looper <laughs> yeah yeah oh good old classic corkscrew now showing yeah yeah you can't call it yeah it's not a cred a simulator the old classic Ventura. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah, it's a shame. This is another one of these grounds that um, had to cancel. Uh, when was it? Last, yeah, last Friday. Yeah, it was last Friday it should have opened and then they cancelled it because of the poor weather. The ground at most of these sites has been really, really bad. So they had to bring in uh, all these steel plates, I'm guessing. All the footpaths. When the coast caterpillar's there, ready to go. Get yeah, get on it, send it. Look at that. Bottle of water. Send it. Yeah, you got Thriller over there as well. Then they're just testing the frog bounce. Yeah, get the rides open. There's a 200 people waiting out there to come in here. They got on the uh, the caterpillar. All right, so here we go on the caterpillar. Yeah, pretty sure this is only new a couple of years ago. And again, Darren Matthews rides, if you ever went to the uh, Tropicana in Western Supermare, he, he had all his rides there, and I'm pretty sure this Caterpillar was brand new when it debuted at, um, at the Tropicana. They also had like a little runaway train there as well, I don't know if that was owned by them. Yeah, loads of rides here. Fortunately, no Ferris wheel this time, but they did it at the other ground. That's where I got confused, I thought it was in the same place. Yeah, Gooven. <laughs> oh, wow. Big and smooth. Gooven Luna. <laughs> or whatever they're called. Yeah, it says, yeah, Gooven Luna. It says on the back of the trailer. I know you all love the back of the trailer uh, montage. <laughs> So yeah, most people have gone to uh, Park Asterix. Go ride uh, to Taris. See, now I thought it was um, a press only media event type thing. Oh, Tilly's getting a load of fuss down there. But no, I think they did a media event and then just opened it up to the public. So I, I could have gone. But like I say, most things we do these days now are, are catered around the dog, so.
Oh, go look at all the game stores we've got here. There's what? There's a one, two, three massive ones here. Eh? Oh, I like these ones, yeah. The ri it's the rifles where you have to knock the sweets off the thing. You used to go on the one at Carter's all the time, but I, wa I wasn't very good, was I? How much is it? Ten corks for a fiver. You also got um, like hooker ducks and stuff here as well. I'll have a go. I'll have a go. See what sweets we can win. All right, here we go. Come on, let's do it again. We need some more winners today. All this stock's got to go. We've got new stock. So yeah, basically put the cork in the end and fire away. Not very well. Go for the lighter stuff. Lighter stuff, yeah. Oh my God. I don't think there's enough power to knock anything off. I've never actually done this one before. I'm not that keen on Miami's, but I'll give it a go. One main reason my mate Joshua's running it. He just saw I got some off ride for you. Here he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you alright? Are you with me? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, free fall! All systems stand by to transmit. I don't think I've ever done this one before. Over the shoulder is straight. Got my new mate Luke here. He's on it, yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> He's number one! Yeah, really nice talking to Darren Matthews just a minute ago. Really nice guy. I mean, it's a really nice family. One of the best showmans in the UK. Like, the rides have got are amazing. If you're having a good time. Saying that, I think every showman's. Oh, they've all got good rides, haven't they? Woo! It's just a constant motion I don't like. <laughs> Woo! Uh, uh, I'm definitely not doing no limit either. No. no. Uh, <laughs> last time we did that was at Stoke Christmas and I nearly blacked out on that. One of the only rides I've ever nearly blacked out on. And then that thing over there is just ridiculous. I like the crazy golf they've got down here as well. Yeah. One more time! Here we go! Ah! Ah! This is the way! Ah! 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 Oh, I got the banging tunes on! Banging tunes! from Freefall. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Miami's, but that one's quite a nice one. And they made Joshua's in there uh, operating it. I don't know why, I always seem to keep calling him Aaron for some reason. But yeah, it's Joshua. <laughs> a nice little fun house here as well. One of the ones with the uh, pop-up pop -up roof on it. We've got a couple of bouncy castles, uh, trampolines just here as well. A couple of little kids rides. Just seems to be a lot of space dotted around where they could have fitted some more rides in at certain positions. I like the crazy golf in the middle. Uh, still can't see the sky swing going around. 
In fact, at the minute, I can't, well, yeah, the crazy mouse is going around, the gold gator and the rotator over there, and Tilly's sat over there looking at me. She can see me from a mile away. Yeah, it's nice ground, really. Great rides for the for the whole family. You know, I'll go on now, probably won't, so. Well, the twister here as well. Set of dodgems on the other side. Plenty of toilets as well, which is a good thing. So yes, get yourselves down. Like I say, it's on till the 1st of May. So it's here for quite a while. And then it goes to Norwich. Loads of game stalls as well. well there's another two of them over here. Right, so next up is Ultimate Walter, number one. So, uh, yeah, uh, the fire just stopped. People just seem to just run onto it. And because it's a wristband fair as well, there's no one checking wristbands. Not like I've got one on anyway. Right, time to send it on the waltzer. Pretty sure I've done this one before. Let's go! Yay! Yeah, it looks like the car park, the free car park, is over there behind me on the field. I don't think they have anyone walking the waltzer here either. Woo! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I don't think you need them to. Okay, you want to know, do you want to go faster? Yeah! Oh, come on, I said you want to go faster! Woo! Somebody scream! Somebody scream! Okay, let's do it. feeling a bit sick if I'm honest <laughs> so definitely not doing something oh yeah the uh, sky swing's working now see they're behind me I'll go and do that uh, I've got to queue up now and try and get on the dodgems if not it doesn't really matter I definitely want to do that sky swing uh, I'll see what else there is really Is 
a couple of dead spots on here. It just keeps, it just keeps jolting and then losing power. There's a girl in the middle. This isn't even going around. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't think there's any rules on this one either. No announcements, no one way around the track, and no head on bumping. Or is there? I don't know. But hers isn't working. Yes. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. It's a massive layout though, it's a huge track. It just, theirs is going now, but mine is just, yeah, it's just not doing anything. But there's the car park over there. We ended up parking on the street on the side near that old water tower. Yeah, unfortunately the weather does affect quite a lot of rides um, at Dodgems, that's what the problem with that was. Something to do with the rain at the weekend or whenever it was and the brush underneath just wasn't getting the power to it. So you got a chair plane here, classic chair swing, and you got no limit there, which I'm not going on. <laughs> They do have the little go gates here, but now it's really busy, I won't bother. I should have done that before when there was no one here. It was, there was no one stood here a minute ago. You just see how busy it is now, very popular attraction is uh, Thunderworld. It's really, really busy now. In fact, it's probably the busiest fair we've been to all year. But yeah, you got the go gator there. And no limit. Yeah, not a chance. Last time I did that, I nearly blacked out on it. Great ride and all, but uh, not for me. Right, so we've now done a full loop. There's the entrance and exit. I love this new, I don't know if it's brand new, but I do like that setup. I think it's great. You know, all the fire extinguishers ready down here, just in case. Loads of kids rides and food stalls and game stalls. There's just a lot of everything here. I might go and get another drink. I don't know. You don't want to walk over and do the sky swing now and then, yeah, and then maybe call it a day. I mean, we've only been here just over an hour, but we've been in the vicinity for about two hours. Yeah, I don't really know what we're doing this afternoon, really, to be honest. We've just basically just got to go home and I like said we've got great, great armor for tomorrow. But yeah, you know, get yourself to Thunderworld. It's a really good event. Right, so we've got a Wintillia, a giant octopus. Because you get over eight with your darts. Nearly stabbed it. <laughs> you get eight over with your darts. You get a large octopus if you don't do anything. You get a small one for free anyway. Woo. Say that, it's a fiver. So yeah, let's... I used to be pretty good at darts. But it's not now. Well, there you go, three already. I've got another four darts to go. Another three, that's six. I like the, uh, I like the flights as well. well, well let's get a especially that one. Oh, oh no, black. <laughs> In black. You still love bullseye. Oh, zero. zero. No, that's me saying I was good. Move away from I it. I need another three, do I? Yeah, the slope. At the bottom corner. The bottom corner. Oh, oh the wall. We still win anyway. Any little one. Any little one. Which one do you want, Tilly? I don't think she's bothered. <laughs> we'll get, we'll, which we'll one? one? We'll get a pink one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, thank you.
Right, this next one you can actually win a husky. Not like we, win or lose, not like we need one. Win or lose, yeah, win or lose. I'm gonna have another go. You can actually see the dart board this time. So same price, four darts for four pound or uh, five for a fiver. Win or lose, we'll get another Teddy for Tilly. Right, let's go again. This time I'll try and get a bigger one. Black. No, that's a black, isn't it? Yeah. Two. Black. Oh my god. <laughs> Two. Carefree at least, come on. And bully special fries. It's not a caravan. Yeah, I got zero oh, again. Five. Huh? Five? Oh, ah, do you got another teddy? You spoil, you are. Spoil, I'm telling you. She's spoiled. We well, yeah, did win a caravan. My God, this fair's got to bankrupt me at the end of the day. Uh, free huggy wuggy if you lose. That's another dartboard, actually. There's a proper dartboard this time. No, she's got enough. She's got a. Uh, a husky and now an octopus. Well, the octopus and now a husky. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> she won't give it to me. Right, you've got the coaster back here. I've got to do the sky, sky swing and then have another walk around and then we'll go, I think. But yeah, plenty of prizes to be won here. Even if you're not very good at darts. Let's go on a ride. Oh my god, look at the queue for the uh, for the crazy mouse, I told you, didn't I? Got a very busy queue here, this is so loud. It's a sky swing. Can you even hear me? I don't know. Right, here we go on Sky Swing. <laughs> You're down there. <laughs> Pretty sure I say it on every video, these things terrify me. Even though I set up a 65 metre tower crane in London at the moment, I don't think this one's far off 65 metres. Could be 30 in fact. Look how close you are near these trees here. My God. Yeah, this could be the last ride for us. I said, so we'll do this, and then we'll have another walk around. I'd like to speak to Michelle before we go. I think she's in the office doing office stuff. But yeah, Bristol, it's a funny one. I, that's how I've worked here a few times on jobs. And I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I've got mixed feelings with Bristol. I mean, yeah, it's all right in what they've got, the attractions and like the zoo here is nice. Never done it though. Uh, Clifton Suspension Bridge, really nice to go and see. And it's a nice historical city, but oh God. <laughs> I don't know, I just, um, put it this way, it's a better city than Bath anyway. I didn't like Bath when we went there. Oh my God. Still going up. Oh my god, we're the highest thing for miles around. Oh my god, look at the views. Yeah, Cardiff's over there. Yeah, pretty much Cardiff's over there. Ah, oh, god almighty. Yeah, see the Seven Bridge. Yeah, but Bristol's a massive city. Yeah, there's a seven bridge over there. I don't even know. I don't even know where the zoo is, to be honest. Wow. Yeah, this ride's terrifying. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Is it about 40? I think it's about 40 meters. This. 
10, 20, 30. Yeah, each section's about 10 meters, so yeah, about 40 meters. Yeah, I'd say 40 meters. There you go, good old KMG ride. There's not many of these around. Yeah, really enjoyed it here. Been here about an hour and a half now. If I didn't have a job or a good stable job like I do now, I, I would love to work the fairs. I really do. There you go, that was uh, Skyfall. Right, there you go, just ask the operator. It is actually 60 meters. I'm not sure. I don't think it's 60 meters. I'm sure it's a bit shorter than 60 meters. But yeah, it's it's the highest thing around here for miles. Right, we've got to have another quick walk around, but it's rammed here. Look at the uh, queue line for the coaster now. It's about an hour wait. <laughs> it's got it's got a bigger line than Icon. That's massive. That's probably about 30 minute wait for that. Oh bless her. <laughs> we had enough for your teddies. <laughs> Right, that's so it, we'll have a quick walk around, get a drink, and then we'll make a move. I think I've done enough rides here. The other stuff that I've not been on is the rotor chip pan thing, roundup, just over there, the simulator, the frogs there in the middle, and the two extreme rides that'll make me throw up. Other than that, really good ground here, actually, really nice ground. Loads of good rides. And while you're at it, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Just there. And because I forgot to do it at the beginning of the vlog, the poster for the fair is just here as well. Leave that there for a couple of seconds. There you go. Don't forget to follow Thunderworld on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and they're online as well. If you want any more information, times, cost, uh, everything like that, it's all online. This, um, this fun fair couldn't be advertised enough it's the signposts around the whole city saying where it's at it must have cost them a fortune to do that like the proper aa signs you see the yellow ones so yeah we'll get a drink have a little quick walk around and then we'll make a move but yeah really enjoyed it here you got nothing to do over the easter get yourself to thunderworld Right, there you go. We actually stood talking to Michelle Matthews for a good half an hour there. Maybe longer. <laughs> and she bought me a nice coffee, a hazelnut latte. It was very nice. From that one there, coffee on the key. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, what a lovely lady she is. We're chatting about all sorts of stuff. And uh, yeah, I just want to say again, a big thank you for allowing us to bring Tilly in for a start. But the um, yeah, just for inviting us down to enjoy this um, amazing traveling theme park. It's absolutely rammed in here. Now all the major rides have got big queues on them. The coaster I can still see has got a big, has it? Or is it, I think it's died down a bit now because there's like time sessions that like I said, one till four, four till seven, seven till nine, something like that. Oh, they haven't now? Oh, is it just four hours? Oh, okay. Yeah, they seem to ch change it. But yeah, really good stuff here, really good rides here. It's a really good ground when it's not been raining. And uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go, Thunderworld theme park for another year. Uh, so we could have had another walk around, but we got talking to Michelle for ages. And she's really nice people, you know, both of them really nice people, Michelle and Darren. But there you go, uh, that's it for now. I don't think we'll be doing much else today. Probably just drive home, it's about a two hour drive home. Oh God, it's quarter past three now. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to Great Yarmouth. We're doing the Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach and maybe Joyland in the afternoon. I don't think we'll be doing anything on Monday because the weather looks terrible for Bank Holiday Monday. But there you go. Eh? Oh, we'll be traveling. Yeah, we're going back home again. Right, well, there you go. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next time we'll upload another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.